Austin, Texas, barreling along the tight back roads of Austin's hill country, my driving partner was coming in a little hot. Usually, beads of sweat would have appeared by now, hand crushing the grab handle. On roads such as this one, which are barely a car and a half wide, unusual confidence in the car is essential. But even with eyes closed, from the passenger seat, it felt as if I was riding in an Audi, not in a product that shares its roots with the Chevrolet Malibu. This is a very good thing for Buick. It's unusually planted and stable, almost dramatic in nature. There's no traditional sedan available on these shores, which begs the question, did the new Regal have to be a hatchback? No. Buick sells a traditional four-door Regal in China. The Regal Sportback, which is built in Russell-Cheyenne, Germany, is a European take on the sedan, in the vein of the recent proliferation of four-door coupes from all sorts of car manufacturers. It's far more versatile than most stylized sedans, however, with a wide opening that can swallow a full-size bicycle with both wheels on. Really, we tried it. There is an alternative to the hatchback, although it won't please sedan purists, the Regal Torx, a wagon in all but name. The 310 horsepower Regal GS isn't far away, either, and a looks Regal of her is likely to appear. A hybridized Regal Lee Assist is also a possibility. Alas, the Regal nameplate is unlikely to reappear on a two-door coupe, according to a Buick spokesperson. The closest analogy for the Regal Sportback is the recently departed Volkswagen CC, in both form and function. From the quarter angles, the Regal Sportback has hints of a last-generation BMW 5 Series. Dead on from the front, or in your rearview mirror, there is more than a hint of the Audi Shield grille.